so sorry. Uncle Lapper, we're so sorry if we caused you any pain. We're so sorry, Uncle Albert. Everything I know inside my head, and the feeling is gonna rage. Oh, y'all got a story today. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Um, well, and is um pretty much dead. I mean, they're they going to turn off the life support. And um, her organs right now are being checked for donations. The family says she will be remembered for her courageous and honesty and dearly missed. So it's basically, this was like a suicide as far as I'm concerned. I mean, L.A. with these crashes, this was, and I believe it happened the same day or right after um, that other crash. Ooh, that is sad. Um, there's a ring footage of her actually speeding down the road. You can see her coming. Actually, you can hear her before you see her. And she was like, Shoo! and then like three seconds later, you hear. So in my mind, she meant to do it or she was just absolutely gored out of off her gourd drunk but the reason why i, I um find a lot of sadness in her story um is because uh, she has a lot of she had a lot of sexuality identity crisis um which caused her to um in my opinion i'm not a doctor i never you know diagnosed her was you know, to hide it and mask it like we all do uh, behind drugs and alcohol. And uh, we all have done at some point, I would say a good percentage of people who have suffered amount of abuse. But allegedly, she suffered what I consider one of the worst kind of abuses in my heart. When you talk about killing and breaking a woman's spirit, that she'll never be the same and no matter how much love you try to show her, she'll begin to make you crazy. And um, is that when a person is uh, molested, raped, oops, can't ate, molested by their um, father, stepfather, whoever represents a father figure for you. When a man does something like that to a woman, then, like I said, you've killed a certain part of her that never can come back. Never. Now, she can get through it. And then a lot of, you hear a lot of people have the nerve to say a lot of stuff like, and this transcends color, has nothing to do with it, whether you black or you white. When you are molested by somebody who is that close to you, who is also serving as an authoritarian um, over you, or, or father figure, then the love is all mixed up and the adoration is all messed up. And now your feelings and emotions have been hijacked by a person who in some countries are, is punished with death. So allegedly she had a lot of those demons going on with her. I know she had an affair with Ellen and at the last minute or something, she just crashed Ellen's world and, you know, saying she wasn't, you know, gay or whatever it was. Uh, they, they they said they got with Ellen and asked her how she felt. She said, I, I haven't talked to her. But I, nobody wishes bad, I don't think, on this woman who really lived a troubled life, if you ask me. Which a lot of people who have abuse issues live. So I want to say rest in peace um, Anne Hank, is that her name? She will. She has been officially declared brain dead and will be taken off the support after suffering a brain injury in a fiery LA crash, her friends and family have said. The actress who was 53 
who is in a coma and in critical condition will stay on the ventilator to determine whether any of her remaining organs are viable to be donated. Her Hanky's wish, or Hank wish, Hanky. I don't know. What, I don't know how to pronounce her last name. Hank. Hank, who has been hospitalized at the Grossman Burn Center in West Hills Hospital in North Los Angeles, suffered severe toxic brain injury. I mean, anoxic brain injury. In the August 5th crash, and according to a statement released Thursday on behalf of the family and friends, such injury is caused by a sustained lack of oxygen to the brain. Wow. Wow. Mm. Mm. Oh. Unfortunately, due to the accident, Hanks uh, again suffered severe brain injury and remains in a coma and in critical condition. And she's not uh, 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 expected to survive. They added, it has been alone her choice to be an organ donor. So Hanky will be kept on life support until medics are able to confirm whether she has any viable orders, organs to donate. God. And I guess this is them pulling her aunt. Uh, she's pictured being wheeled into an ambulance after the crash has been intubated in a critical condition after crashing her mini into a garage. Before speeding off and before speeding off and smashing it into a home where it exploded. I before speeding off. They got also a photo of her with a. Uh, Seconds before, um, at the wheel with a bottle of vodka with a red cap in the cup holder. So there's a picture of, I guess, that she's been drinking vodka in her vehicle or allegedly drinking. It sure is in the front seat. Um, And like I said, um, this lady has dealt with so much abuse issues. <sighs> um, the actress, let me say this and I'll be done with it. Uh, she was reported still in a coma fighting for her life. Which, okay, we, got, we already know that. It says on Tuesday, the spokesperson said that she also has burn and lung injuries. Um, so this is all the reasons why uh, uh, they said she's not going to survive. Detectives with a search warrant took a sample of Hanky's blood and found narcotics in her system. It was reported that cocaine and fentanyl was found in Hanky's bloodstream following a horrific crash. Officials confirmed that she had not been drinking alcohol being, despite being pictured with a bottle of vodka in her cup holder. Okay. So she she was not drinking. Let me make a correction if I say she was. Oh God. Anyway, Anne Hinky is no more. And the car is just nothing. It it it, it it's just nothing. Oh, her legs, and they got a, you know, I guess a drone picture where she's just absolutely burnt up. And you saw her going speeding down the street, which is just insane. It's just insane. Anyway. Ah. Uh, Wow. 
Anyway, if you like what you hear, subscribe, share the channel. And I'll see you in the next